Hi everybody. I received a question actually I think two days ago now and um, so this video is a response to the question I received. The question is, I was wondering if you can do a video on when things get too creepy when you're doing spell work or like before you finish and something goes wrong. What would you do to fix the situation? If things get creepy or an object you're working with no longer feels right and the space feels all wonky. Okay, so I think I touched on this a little bit, but I'm not sure if I really specifically touched on this. In a video I did, I'm just keeping her busy. In a video I did a couple of years ago, which I'll link below, called Dealing with Darkness. Um, but if I'm, if I'm doing anything and the energy feels off, then I'll recalibrate. I'll, I'll rethink what am I doing or do I need to um, scan and clear the space. I mean, generally, if something was off, I would know it before I got started. But um, I'm trying. This is very general, so I'm trying to think of how things could go wrong. Um, hmm. There, there are so many variables. I'm, I'm just going to make this as general as possible. Myself, um, I, I do have a spirit guide, and so I, I generally am pretty aware if any kind of weird energy. Is around me and and it, it does happen that's life life is no matter how well you um, keep your nose clean keep your space clean you know keep your energy on a positive flow and all that we all have times where you know things pop off and it can get a little a little crazy so when that happens you know that's gonna throw your energy off now, I, I have had times where I wanted to do some energy work, but I knew I wasn't in the right frame of mind. And my guide will tell me, my guide will tell me, you know, you need to calm down, you need to go work this out, or whatever the situation may be, and then get back to me kind of thing. Um, and I know when my energy isn't right. But the way the question's posed, it sounds like perhaps you feel like maybe you would be in the middle of working with something or working working with an object or working a spell or doing some kind of energy work and uh, say like some kind of negative energy comes in. All of a sudden it doesn't feel right. All of a sudden things feel off. It's been a while since that's happened to me, which is pretty surprising to me, but the only thing I can credit that to is experience. The more you do, it's, it's like um, working out or uh, any other skill you acquire. The more you do it, the more confidence you're going to have. And if you're confident, and I don't mean getting cocky, I mean just confidence. Um, the more confident you are, the less likely you are to have those kinds of issues. If you're dealing with any kind of um, sort of a fear or anger or anything like that going on as a general theme in your life at the moment, you're more likely to attract um, things to test you like that. Or if you're just getting into uh, your practice, which is kind of these things are getting torn up, which is kind of the impression I have. If you're just getting into your practice and you're not confident about what you may attract to you because you haven't dealt with various forms of um, entities or energies yet, I would just say don't let that hold you back. If you're in the middle of something and it doesn't and it seems to not be going right, stop what you're doing, regroup and assess the energy. It's so important to be aware of 
the energy around you, the energy you're putting out, the energy you're receiving, the energy of the space you're doing, your, if you're doing a spell or working, um, you know, have a room or a space in your house that you can create a protective energy bubble if you would like around your, your room, apartment, house. If you're sitting on your bed, you could just focus on a smaller space like that to create a protective sort of energy field like bubble around you. Um, I recommend always getting to know your guide. You will have at least one guide. You could say, uh, some people call it their, their guardian angels, some people say spirit guides, some people um, will say they're familiar. And there's a variety of other terms out there. But um, you should have one energy source that you feel confident that you can call upon and work with. Um, that can read the energy on the astral for you, that will sense things coming before you sense them. How do you do that? Well, you just ask. You just ask and you just keep working on things and trying things. And with all that, with every effort, you gain more experience. And it's hard to say without knowing a specific situation, but yeah, you know, just work on one thing at a time, plan it out, feel confident about it, work with the energies, and if, if things go off, pull back. And, and sometimes things go wrong, or what you might say wrong, maybe a, a spell didn't work, or something didn't turn out the way you intended. You have to assume that everything kind of happens for a reason, and it's. I see when uh, something doesn't turn out quite the way I want it to, I see it as like a little piece of a jigsaw puzzle. And I just set it aside, and I know it's going to fit in, it's going to make sense later. Everything doesn't have to make sense right now. You don't have to know everything right now. Nobody knows everything. And a lot of times things don't always make sense, but the more you become familiar with your energy, the energy surrounding you, the energy you allow in your life, and these are things that come in degrees and come in steps. You know, the more you know yourself, the more you are careful about the people you allow to interact with you in your world. Um, And then also you can put yourself in different scenarios and just see how that energy feels. I don't know if you're a, a talker or a listener, but it goes a long way to be able to sit in a room with people and just listen and feel the energy shifting and just notice it. And um, the same thing in your home. Notice if energy shifts in your home. And, and always, always think of logical reasons first. Let me say this. Always think of logical reasons first. Don't look for something supernatural or paranormal right off the bat. Although if you're putting that signal out there, it's going to happen. If you're sincere in your quest, in, in your search, in your seeking, it will come to you. But... Don't expect everything to just happen instantly. Don't come at it from the perspective of a demanding child. Come to whatever you're approaching with just respect. And if anything goes off or feels weird or anything crazy does happen, which I have seen crazy things happen, know that you are, you are the ruler of your domain. And you have a right to quash it and put an end to it at any moment. When you're done, you can just be done. And if you want to call for protection, you call for protection. If you feel afraid, then just own that. But it's really good to push yourself beyond those fears and build up your confidence. It's kind of like building up stamina. I've had things 
interact in the house with not just me but others in the, in the household um, when they know that we're not really worried about too much just little uh, tricksters sometimes will come in if you're not on guard about your energy if you're just focused on general life occasionally a trickster will come in and do like something to see if you will do a little like a little jump start a little jump scare something like that when it happens just laugh it off. It's it's funny. You're not going to get hurt. Nothing's really going to hurt you. I've never seen anybody get hurt. I have seen objects move. I have seen things happen that would test or freak some people out. But if this is the path you're choosing to pursue, then um, I find all that exciting. I find every time something happens, like, oh, good, I'm being tested again, or I'm being... Um, yeah, I'm able to play with that kind of energy. I like it. Anything that's there, it's there whether you can see it or not. So I'd rather know something's here. If I feel like something's here and it's not showing itself, it's just being sort of sneaky and lurky, I'll just call it out. And I'll send it away. And if there's any issues or any doubt, then I'll, I'll ask my spirit guide to assist me. Um, or ask a familiar to assist you and scan the astral of your domain and make sure it's clear for you. Um, I'm sure this is another rambly one. I hope it makes a little sense. I hope it wasn't too distracting with the puppy. But um, anyway, I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're going to have a really good weekend. And I hope you've had a really great week. And uh, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you soon.